Here we go. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm all right. I feel this is odd because you do this every week and it's the first <laughs> time I've done it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, well, it's weird to see you there on the other side of it. And I'm usually just looking at you on Zoom. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, like first time like ever doing an Instagram live. So it's, Is it? Yeah. Uh, no, it's, actually, that's not true at all. I did it the other way around. I did, I did one with Paul from MF, didn't I? You did do one a while last year, a little while back. But yeah, so for everyone watching, welcome. We're going to chat about Launchpad, all things Launchpad today, um, ahead of next Monday's deadline for this um, 2021 round of support. Um, so yeah, me and Whiskers just thought we'd come on and chat about everything that Launchpad is. I'm just going to ask Whiskers some questions um, or we'll have a bit of a conversation about it. But if anyone does have any questions, just pop them in the comments um, and we'll try and answer everything that people are asking. Um, so yeah, welcome Whiskers to your um, own <laughs> Launchpad channel. <laughs> thanks for having me. <laughs> um, so do you want to just tell us what Launchpad is? Uh, yes, of course. So, well, I, I mean, I'll tell you, I, so I, I'm Whiskers or uh, my school teacher used to call me Sam. Uh, and I, uh, I founded an organisation called Music Leads a few years ago that has uh, sort of changed things up to now work across Yorkshire under the name Music Local. We've got lots of cool partners like Bradford Music Network and Music South Yorkshire and lots of other cool organisations across the breadth of Yorkshire that we work with. And when we started Music Leads, we wanted to really kind of offer something to support um, artists in the music community, like really tangible support uh, in the region. And so we created a programme called Launchpad. Um, to be able to do that, to be able to offer a, a, a way to offer advice to, to people um, and a way to provide some funding to make new recordings and a way to kind of showcase uh, artists as well to like live opportunities. And that's now grown um, through through the partnerships. So Launchpad is, is you know, as the open call that's open at the minute is open to artists and industry professionals based anywhere in Yorkshire. So we're really, uh, you know, excited about that. And we've had a wicked response from across Yorkshire in, in this round and, 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 and last round when we did it last summer as well. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we, we really, it's, it's there to help artists when people, you know, and people wanting to build their careers, when people say it's really hard to get going, it's there to be something that can help you. And, you know, the, the disappointing thing is we can't help everybody, um, but the application process gives us a really good view of like who's out there and what general support is needed. Um, and obviously we've had a very strange year to say the least mm -hmm. with, with the pandemic, but the idea is actually we're constantly doing other events and things like that. So some of you who are tuning in may know, you know, that over the last year we've done, well, we've been doing all these Instagram chats, but we've also been doing other webinars with sort of funding bodies, people like PRS foundation and, um, help musicians and arts council book panels around building your online profile uh, around I'm trying to think what else we did uh, but yeah building your PR uh, kind of future of live streams things mm -hmm. like that and you know what's what's exciting is as we as sort of lockdown is, li is lifting is we're thinking towards the second half of this year around how we can get out and about and do more do more so everyone who's engaged with the project can kind of benefit mm -hmm. um, but at the minute, we've got applications open for our kind of like specific program of support, um, which means that if you're an artist and we can support you, uh, you get a sort of series of, of mentoring sessions or industry advice sessions. We pair you with either a specific industry advisors or you can kind of jump around between other relevant uh, industry advisors. Um, for some, we can fund recording. So that the idea of that is to kind of elevate your recording material. And we've done some really cool stuff for some artists. We've either paired them with really interesting producers. We've like, you know, quite often we've got people, we've, in a few instances, we've paired artists with um, producers making really great records. Uh, you know, sorry, records by some of their favourite artists, if you know what I mean. Uh, we've been mm -hmm. able to pair things with that. Um, uh, as I say, sh live showcases. So it's kind of a route to, uh, to to get on a lot of interesting gigs and festivals. That's been a bit of a strange one this year because, well, number one, the schedule is all skew if. So normally in previous years, we've had festivals like 
Live at Leeds and Tramlines Fringe and Long Division, which we've kind of plugged things around the open call, but they're all happening at random times. Mm -hmm. There's still some question marks as to like what the capacity of them are. But um, there's a number of, of really cool uh, events that we know we're going to plug stuff into across the region. And we've got active conversations with a number of festivals that we hope... Um, we hope we'll be able to have space either for a, a kind of launch pad stage or a stage in partnership with some of our, some of the other organizations we work with, like Come Play With Me and Higher Rhythm, or um, or just like one or two slots for artists that come through launch pad. So that's something, there's, there's a number of confirmed things, but there's actually, you know, really cool number of opportunities that we, that aren't confirmed, but we're working on, which but is it's, cool. It's like, it's important to say that it, everything's kind of adapting and I think you know obviously you mentioned that the last year we've been doing this for uh, two years now two rounds two years or whatever and um, you know to be able to adapt through the last year and actually try and offer different support and opportunities and it's all like we said it's all about what that artist or, or industry professional is about and what what they need so actually you know whether it's learning how to do live streaming or it's it's your online presence while live stuff hasn't been around or while stuff's coming back like you say plugging into more opportunities and i think it's probably important to say that isn't it that actually we can kind of try and mold to whatever's whatever's needed because of everything you know the change in situation as well i, th I think that's a really important thing and i've had a couple of conversations the last couple of days around uh, you know, people who've worked on different, in like, like had different kind of mentors or industry advices. That ours is completely tailored to what what an artist needs, and we we've got we've got industry professionals we work with across like almost every genre. I would say from like grime to sound art to jazz to indie rock. We've got people who are working at the kind of cutting edge of all those places who we can kind of tap into, and also they're lovely people. You know, yeah. these aren't just these aren't just people who are really good at their job, but or maybe aren't good at communicating with people. You know, we work with people who we know are good at giving advice and good at kind of taking on board what an artist needs. And the thing that always gets me as well is that I think more and more, and this has happened a lot over the last year, is there's there's a lot of solo projects. I don't know how many people are, are here, and one of the bits of feedback, and I I sort of see it that's really invaluable is actually if it's a solo project or it's really driven by an individual is what a lot of people say they find useful is actually just having that sounding board with someone. And because yeah. it's kind of like a series of regular meetings, um, you know, you can really kind of track development or work on a release campaign or, or whatever it is that you need to do. But you've got someone, it's not necessarily holding your hand, but you've got someone to bounce those ideas back and keep it in check and you can do that. And, you know, quite often it's not just about those meetings, you know, people are bouncing emails back and forth with us and, and all sorts of things. So, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, the idea is that we, we, we you know, endeavour to be useful for, mm. for, for everyone, really, in the best way possible. And like you mentioned then as well, it's really genre diverse, isn't it? Obviously, the support that's offered and it's the, the, the programme's open to all genres and, you know, whether it's sound out or grime or rock or hip hop or whatever it is. And actually, that's something that, you know, and diversity in other ways as well. And it's something that we, we work really hard on, isn't it, to try and make sure the programme is in the, it is diverse in terms of artists, but also what we're able to offer as opportunities and advisors. Yeah, absolutely. All those things. I think we're, we're really conscious of all those things. It's not, um, I, I mean, I, I sort of divert slightly because I think one of the really interesting things is about the sort of like selection process. Because mm -hmm. a lot of the questions that I get asked, like when we've done, when we've done Zooms or we have one-to-ones about it is, is that I try and reassure people is that, I think the difference with Launchpad with sort of some of the bigger funds that people may be aware of is it's not necessarily about supporting the artist at the, the most tipping point of their career who's like doing the most and had the most success already. You know, one yeah. of the exciting things is that if an artist is making really exciting music, um, and maybe it's quite raw, maybe the recordings aren't there, but, you know, if, if our reviewers, and maybe I'll talk about that process in a minute, mm -hmm. how we select, but, like, if our reviewers see like are excited by the, the music in its raw form and through the application process there's a feeling that the person you know knows who they are as an artist and has a has a keen and realistic achievable plan even if it's got gaps even if it's like you know i want to do this but i don't know how or mm. or so on you know those artists get backed you know for those reasons it's so it, it we do end up supporting artists at, at kind of almost every level i would say from you know, we've helped artists put out the very first release. 
mm-hmm. you know, through the process. So, so don't let that put you off. Uh, but we've also helped bands who are on the tipping points of releasing albums and things like that, and, and have moved quickly on to getting other support as well. But, but you know, I'd like to think that we helped them on that tipping point as well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, maybe we should talk a little bit about the actual application and selection process. I think that would be quite helpful. Um, so obviously, we've got the the application is is via online um, by the website, which is launchpad music dot com. Um, so that's either a written application or a video application. Um, so people have a bit of a bit of a choice. Um, and there is more FAQs and information and things on there. So it, it you know, we've we've tried to make it as much of a, a accessible and and relatively straightforward process as possible. Um, but yeah, maybe maybe we should talk about like kind of what what we're looking for from people and and what um what the selection process is like. Yeah, I mean, I just want to be. I mean, before we go into that, because I think we're talking quite a lot about the artist focused stuff, and I, I'm really keen to mention the support we want. With, that we can give through Launchpad projects for, yeah, exactly. for, for non-performing people as well, mm-hmm. um, which again we can come on to, and and and, and the application process is, is sort of applicable to both. But yeah, I mean the idea is that the application form is relatively straightforward. It's hopefully stuff that you're already thinking about as as an artist. You know, it really is sort of tell us a bit about you and what you've already done. And I think, I suppose one simple bit of advice, just in terms of making it easier for us to, to kind of read is, you know, it's not, it's not a descriptive story. You know, it's, it's not a kind of background about how you first learnt an instrument and all of those. It, it, we just want to know what, you, what your band has done or your, you've done as an artist through there. And, and I think um, you can be quite direct about some of that stuff. And again, I'd, 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 I'd urge you, we've done, because we've done a lot of work, I'd urge you, you know, we did a really great panel back in October around building your own PR. And if you want to know how to sort of represent yourself and talk about yourself as an artist, go back and watch that panel because I thought it handled that stuff really, really well. Mm. Um, but other than that, I'm, you know what? I, I, I haven't got the website here. I was going to pop my laptop. But... I do. So if you need me to find anything, let me know. <laughs> what, what are the questions? The questions are, so uh, the questions are really about helping us understand what support you need. So it talks about like what advice you need. It talks about like how you would benefit from recording and things like that. And that's just, I think the more detail you give us there, the better. Like if you, if you know how you can, what, what the gaps are in your knowledge, like, is it about release strategy and, and it can be it can be stuff that you i'm gonna say you can be embarrassed about it's like if you but you you know you can put what your gaps are because Mm. because that helps us understand that you have an appreciation of where you where you're at in your career and also how tangible it is to to help because some stuff might be quite easy to help with an industry advisor so again us and our reviewers would go this is great actually because we can totally see how with that little bit of support this person can 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 raise what they're doing so yeah i would just say sort of be be detailed in in those things um and i think that i think that has come out in the question that talks about um it's it says what you have what do you hope to achieve as an artist or band in the next two years so that idea of making that plan so you can talk about what you plan or hope to do but also there's an opportunity to then talk about the things that you might need that support with and, and what those gaps are, which obviously helps us to understand rather than, like you say, put you in a bad light of, oh, I don't know everything, so I shouldn't apply. That's completely, you know, the opposite, isn't it, really? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, if anyone's there thinking, well, you know, if I put all this stuff that I don't know how to do, it'll look really bad. Well, yeah, it's it's completely the opposite, really. It, 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 um it shows a good understanding of where you are, which again is a key thing our reviewers would look. I'm just, I'm just going to jump around and mention a couple of other things I think mm-hmm. are, are related to this point, which is, you know, you might, you might think that you're not ready to, to apply. You know, some artists might think that they're not ready, um, but I would urge everyone to apply for a couple of reasons. Uh, you know, you might be listening to this and think you're not quite ready. Um, and I would urge everyone to apply for two reasons. One, because we then know, we know you exist and we know what you're, what your needs are and mm-hmm. that goes into everything else that we plan to do you know when we're looking at it we, we kind of get a feel for what what people need and help to get them to the point where you know in six months or a year's time hopefully you do feel ready um and also we do send it out to um so to to these independent reviewers 
and so if you are proud of your music then that will get heard by other people even if you're not necessarily at, at um at a level that, that you know you, you you know you're still working a few things out so you're not yet ready for support and that can often be really useful as well and just i mentioned our reviews a few times because it's something that i'm really um you know i'm really passionate about the way in which we select our artists is that we work with uh, you know 20 to 30 independent we call them industry advisors now um and, and a lot of them are, are listed on our website and and they do some of our sort of mentoring and the advice but they also help us select the artists so for every application that we get sent we send it out to two um of two industry advisors each one goes to two two of them and then one of the launchpad teams so me lynn's uh you know ash who you've seen so so we look at one each so every every application is looked at by three different people and what we do is we collate all that feedback and we have a bit of a scoring system and then we look at kind of who's who comes out best from all of that it's a little bit crude but what we do is we pull in you know really wide range of people to feed into that process so it's not one person going you know i know these they're really great you know mm -hmm. i think that they should go um, we pull in this kind of wet range of feedback to 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 get. So so when you do apply, you do sort of get thrown out to to an interesting group of people as well. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a really good point. I mean, like you said, we've talked quite a lot about artists. Do you want to mention a bit specifically about projects now, um, in terms of like what qualifies as projects and how that's a bit different, but sort yeah. of the same? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? Um, so Launchpad Projects is is our is the strand for uh, supporting anyone who wants to build a career, run a project, but isn't a musician slash artist. Um, we know that a lot of artists consider their next release a project, yeah. but we want our, the way in which we've designed the artist application bit is is focused to people creating music basically the launchpad projects is designed for people who are working with people creating music basically and it can mean almost anything and again i think if you are if you're not sure then just drop us a message basically mm -hmm. but again it's it's a similar thing it's like if you're wanting to get into artist management if you've got an idea to set up a record label or you have started those things but you need more support Again, we're there to try and put the same amount of support for you uh, into place. One of the interesting things with Launchpad projects and the industry side is that we've got like an incredible, for them, we've got incredible relationships with a lot of the like industry bodies. Mm -hmm. So we've, we work with Music Managers Forum for one of our projects. We are actually the regional champions for an organization called AIM, which looks after independent labels. So in Launchpad projects that we supported last year, um, I think we supported eight record labels, like eight emerging record labels from the region. And we just managed to get them all like a year's membership to aim as part of the support. So again, like whatever it is, you know, so, I mean, I could list a ton of stuff like promoter, um, you know, doing live events, I had a whole bunch of stuff, but you know, even if it's about, you know, even if you wanted to work within say, have a specific job, like you're a young person, you want to work in marketing within the music industry, the form is there for you to talk about what you've done and how you want to develop your career. And it might be that you're not getting specific support to like be like in the way a music manager might get someone talking to me about how to be a music manager. We might be able to get you some mentoring and coaching about someone in the industry who just talks you through the pathways. And also someone, I would say, someone who's had the experience of maybe being based in the North and based in Yorkshire and how they've navigated working in the music industry as well. Basically, so that is hopefully helpful. You know? yeah and that's really important isn't it because obviously we're wanting to encourage all types of people from across Yorkshire to be working in music and you know and to be connecting with the rest of the UK or globally or whatever and build helping you know be a part of be a part of the music industry or music community whatever you want to say and yeah. and want to support to do that and I think it's a really important thing that you know I, I mean my personal opinion is a lot of a lot of what holds artists back in Yorkshire is the lack of other the other people. The infrastructure. It's, it's the infrastructure is yeah. is the lack of of artists and a lot of um, a lack of you know record labels or promoters or press people or, or radio pluggers or whatever. And actually, there's this funny thing where you know we talk a lot about the lack of income coming to artists, but and and that definitely needs addressing. But 
they, there is an income stream there. Whereas if you're setting yourself up as an artist manager, you're and you're not, you know, if you want if you want the best for your artist, you're probably not taking any money off them for, to start with. Which means you're not making any money. Mm. You know, there's a whole there's a whole if you're trying to develop your career, there is there is like no income strand for you there at mm. all. Um, and it's quite uh, and, and you know there isn't a, a, a there isn't a job. You know, mm. you're, 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 you're unlikely to find an employer who will pick you up on a salary. Although, you know, we are starting to see that change a bit. So yeah. again, if we can help support people through that, and you know, there are more and more individuals in the region doing that, it will only help support the wider, you know, the, the wider economy, the wider you know, community uh, of music, really. Yeah, definitely. And also that kind of idea for, for us is like retaining retaining talent in the north and in, in Yorkshire and not feeling like all you to work in the industry, you have to go to London because that's not necessarily true. But it is, you know, it's it's part of an evolution, isn't it? And obviously we're trying to help that. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the other thing with projects just to mention is, you know, we talked about having been able to provide some funding for, to, to help recording for artists. Well, for, for projects, uh, you know, we also have funding to help you make your project. So the way in which we phrase it, I think, is, you know, if, to help you deliver a project that is beyond your financial means. So I think some examples are, you know, we've helped people who want to do like a physical pressing for, you know, for their um, for their record label. Um, we've, I'm trying to think, well, so we've helped people put on workshops or events. Um, the thing we haven't really funded, but I'm keen to hear from people is like professional development. Mm. So if someone perhaps needs to, go to a conference or connect with someone or do the one, the example I keep using is like MMF, MMF training. So like music managers forum training or that kind of thing, or like a sync, there's like a sync conference that's been, it's quite an expensive one to attend. Then that's part of your personal professional development and you can apply for us for that funding. Um, that's a tricky, sometimes that's a tricky one timing wise, but you know, we're that this is a process that's a little bit under review for us. So, you know, it's open now. If you've got stuff that you think would benefit from that, that funding, that's what it's there for. It's there to support the sector in Yorkshire. And that can be individuals or collectives or groups or kind of fledgling organisations in the making or any of those things, can't it? Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, we talked about for the artist applications that it's about telling us who you are and what you've done. And I think the same, obviously the same is for projects, but projects is a, an interesting one because it could be, you know, you as an individual have done all this stuff and you want to set up a new business or a new, or a new project. And so it's a, new, it's a new name and that doesn't have to be a problem. But equally, it could be you as a person and you want to do a project that is you as a person mm -hmm. and, and all the same things count, really. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a really good point. Yeah. Um, what next <laughs> what, what else do we need to talk about i mean i'm totally um totally up for uh, any questions so if anyone does want to jump in on anything let us know uh Avery in the dark says we were going to sync con but it was way expensive yeah i mean that's that's the thing there, there is there is a weird bit in the middle where like an artist wanting some of those professional development opportunities we we don't quite have the joining of the dots but I mean, outside of this process, we, we want to be seen as open. We do, the, we do these chats nearly every Wednesday, although I think we're wrapping them up for a bit. Yeah. We do our drop-ins every couple of weeks. And, you know, something like that, getting funding to go for events, there's actually, a, there, is a, there is a bigger fund out there called Help Musicians Transmission Fund. Congratulations, Linz. Um, <laughs> Linz which Linz has just re received, which we're not allowed, not allowed to say yet. Um, there is, uh, which, which is to pay for those kind of things. Yeah. So, um, and, 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 and I believe they might be changing the process for that just to make it a bit more easier. So we, I, I say this with a slight trepidation that we get overwhelmed, but it's what we want to want to do is be there for people is that like, if you are trying to find a solution to like pay for that, mm. then if you drop us a message, we can go, well, actually, we know that these, there are these couple of funds that are available for you yeah, as well. Yeah, I think, I think that's also really important to say, isn't it, for people that are a bit unsure. Like you said already, if you're not sure whether to apply and you're in very early stages, probably apply anyway, but also drop us a message. Or if it's a, a project or it's about you as an individual for working as a non-music creator, to just drop us a message. And I think, you know, obviously we've got our little, we've got our advice portal, which we've just started on the website as well. Um, which does have some some general information and sort of blog type stuff. We've got all of these Instagram chats um, that we've done, especially with artists, but also with some project people as well. Um, so there's absolutely loads of stuff to kind of delve into as and well. 
and something like that helped musicians is you know i'm i'm very sympathetic of artists knowing or 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 people in the industry at the start of their career like actually knowing how to navigate the opportunities yeah you know certainly at the start of this year i said this a lot there were there were there were almost too many funds open at the start of this year there was about in terms of it being confusing yeah in terms of knowing where to put mm-hmm. your energy into applying and i know that it takes a lot of energy to apply to these things yeah. and i think if we can in any way just help with a quick conversation and go actually in our opinion you're at this stage and these opportunities are great for you um you know i'd love to think we can um we can help in that way yeah. but equally you know i think i mean we do again that's all part of the application process as well if you actually if whatever level you're at if you apply to us it's kind of we it, it kind of registers for us and then if we if we see that funds are open we can help signpost you to obviously the artists that we actively that are chosen through the application process we work super super hard with and, and that's the benefit another benefit of, of hopefully getting applied but even if yeah. you're not we're aware of that and we we you know we talk with a lot of other organizations i mean there's uh, brighter sound do a lot of great stuff right across the north and in yorkshire but there's also like regional organizations like you know because we're working more with like with uh, you know again if people aren't aware we're working with a number of councils now and, and, and the music south yorkshire thing and you know we're talking to people in other areas like hall or even rydale is that again if we know that you're coming from those areas and we see that they you you need that support we can ha- we can kind of mention that to people and and, and sort of anything from sow the seeds to like mm. get something going in that region to actively connect people um, and actually even through this process you know there are there are people uh, in and around Yorkshire who who have reached out to us just through this application process that we've been able to connect with people trying to start music projects in different parts of Yorkshire, which is which is really, really exciting. Yeah. Yeah, really good. Awesome. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of any more questions. We've been through my general questions. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that is useful to talk about. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've ticked off. I've ticked off most of my like uh, things I wanted to mention. I was like, things I've written down to mention was was uh, you know what the, not every as I say not everyone's successful, and I don't think you have to look at that as being the the ultimate end game, and every yeah. nothing else matters. I think I think I'm, I'm really keen with any fun to, to 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 kind of say that, but I think this one um, the oh my there, I'm oh, back. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Um, the fact that if you apply, you usually get sent to to kind of industry professionals, people working in the industry across all kinds of different things. Um, we, what was it? I can't even read my writing. We, oh yeah, the fact that we know, if you apply, we know we know more about you, which I've said. Mm. Um, if you're worried about the kind of kind of support that we give, um, I, I suppose I want, oh, in a way, I want to say trust us because you know again we see it as our mission to make sure that what we can deliver to you you know, is helpful. Um, mm-hmm. And as I said, you know, we've gone out of our way to connect with lots of different organisations and people working in different parts of the industry. So we have that connection and we, uh, yeah, we work we work with the artists to find that. And then I, I was going to just say a few more other things about this kind of support we give, which was, I suppose, one of the things I'm with this opportunity to speak freely was emphasise the live stuff. Because in the past, you know, the open call has hung around some really exciting live opportunities that we've had. So we've been able to say, you know, if you apply, we can, we, you know, you, you, you'll be considered for slots at, say, live at Leeds. Or we've put on a really big gig at Millennium Square mm-hmm. in Leeds before. And basically, we're in active conversations about doing all of those things. But we can't confirm that they'll happen yet because of the nature of where we're at. And I suppose one of the things is that I don't know if people really realise that, that you know, there's a, there's a bunch of stuff that we have confirmed. So we'll be able to put artists on at Howard Assembly Rooms in Leeds and uh, we'll, we're putting the artists forward for Barnsley Live and Sensoria Festival. And we're working with Noisy Villagers up in, up, in, up in Rydale. But we're also talking to, you know, like all these other festivals as well about what might be possible if, um, yeah. if COVID opens up. And, and like obviously as well, there's been, there's been online live opportunities as well like um obviously we did our own live um virtual house gigs last summer but things like um actual recording filmed sessions which can be then go towards a release or that sort of thing um but obviously most recently the the great escape um uh online festival which is happening at the end of this week which features is it six launchpad plus artists 
Um, yeah. So, you know, those are the kind of things that there's that kind of other side of it that I think, you know, it sort of feels like that's that's developing as well as the in real life stuff. Um, so there are, yeah, I'm sure there will be lots of opportunities this year. Yeah, and that's, I mean, that's actually a really interesting point because as much as stuff, we put stuff out there, stuff constantly evolves. So even in the, the very start, uh, two years ago when we first launched Launchpad, you know, without us being able to kind of advertise it, we got we got reached out to buy pa- uh, Pub in the Park in oh, Round, yeah. round yeah. Eight. And we were able to put three three artists on that festival supporting Basement Jacks and I think Soul Will Soul. Young play it as well? I think maybe Will Young played it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, you know, those three artists, not only did they get to perform that, but they also got, like, on calendar news, on, on, on regional news as well. They, you know, those three artists got quite a lot out of it. And that didn't, we weren't able to advertise that as part of the open call. But yeah. we picked three artists that our reviewers had come back really strongly with. And, and same here, like, it's interesting. We've done a couple of heavily plugged live streams well, in fact, I suppose most of the live stuff we did in the last year, we didn't really plan. We didn't know what was going to happen. We've just done it to be, um, we did it to try and do something useful for the artists. But I suppose two of them, we found the opportunity and ran with. One's The Great Escape, like you say, Lynch, which is going to go out on Friday night and you know reach a global audience. Um, but the other one, the other big one, I mean, it's, it's a Leeds-focused one, was the partnership with Leeds United, uh, gotcha. you know, which, which went out on New Year's Eve. Uh, and reached a hundred thousand people, um, and I do. I would like to think we could do that with some of the other football teams uh, in mm. Yorkshire. Um, yeah, that'd be brilliant. There's, there's an issue as to who uh, the the. If, I don't know how many football fans are watching, but there's a few issues around the ownerships of some of the other of the All other right. teams in Yorkshire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, um, but yeah. You know, I- we're, we're, we definitely adapt and pick stuff up as we're going as well, don't we, as in terms of opportunities. It's not it's it's that thing where it is like there are specific opportunities and especially when it comes to the kind of advice sessions, mentoring and for certain artists or projects, actual funded um opportunities but those kind of live opportunities events performance or online stuff some of it we do just pick up yeah pick up as we're going don't we and and there are because things are changing all the time and and we just want to put as many artists with as many opportunities as possible um so yeah i think it's worth saying that and just saying that there will be more <laughs> that we can put yeah. you with yeah and, and that's but i just oh, we, we said it quite a few times but i, I suppose maybe can't emphasize it enough is that you know, if if you're applying to us and you talk, you know, applying to us, we get an overview of what you're trying to do. And we can only support a finite number. But if you're not in that finite number, we still, we're, we're, we have an awareness of what you're doing. Yeah. And we constantly have opportunities to, to get more informal support from us, like the drop-ins and, you know, the events that we do. And so the, if you're, you know, you can keep, tabs with us you can bounce stuff off us in in that respect too i mean we've just changed the drop-ins so that you know we you can have one-to-ones but you can also have we're also doing these bigger zooms where you know multiple people can come in at once and mm-hmm. we've only done that twice but it's already been quite useful actually in just like having a bit of a bit of sharing between what people are trying to do and then you know we, hopefully soon we'll be back to doing you know events and i and i think when we start doing real life events again i think it'll be a combination of you know maybe it's a talk maybe it's about releasing your music or maybe it's about prs but i think in the first instance for the you know a lot of those events a heavy a heavy part of them is going to be just the idea of people coming together and yeah. talking and meeting people yeah um which i think will help and and and, and yeah 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 definitely that networking side of it which has obviously been more more challenging to to do um, but I also, like you said about the the value in in applying, especially as an artist or project person at this stage, it's not like you said, it's not like that whole thing where you've got to list all of your achievements and then it's the tipping point and it's the big momentum, you know, momentum fund or something like that, where you might not saying you would have one shot at it, but there's a more like there's a, t- a real timeline there, yeah. isn't there? Whereas the very like early stage stuff, it can be quite like fluid like you said it could be somebody that maybe has only got kind of demo level recordings to someone that's ready to record an album and and there's a bit more like kind of flexibility of what stage people are at so even if you don't get it the first time it's definitely reapply and definitely kind of keep talking to us I think that's you know we want to help as many people as possible on their on their journeys don't we yeah I mean yeah I mean again just to emphasize if people are watching in this position and you know I know there's a I can tell if you know people who might have applied before is that you know it, it it does pain me that anyone would ever think that they're not 
sort of favorite favorited or whatever and that they're not the face doesn't fit um it is a problem that we can only support so many um you know and there are there are i mean the i mean the real truth is there is a there is an excellent bunch of artists who who have narrowly missed being supported by us and and you know like last year you know because we now were across across yorkshire like last year we supported 32 artists which which was a hell of a lot to to, to do mm. and and it was really great but the, you know the the, the it, it's, this might sound quite hard, hard hard for people but the you know the the artists who we su- supported like the, the we chose sort of 17th to 32nd and the the, the 10 to 20 next ones there's, there's, there wasn't a lot to you know yeah. we just had to draw a line somewhere yeah and, and we are lucky that actually some of the ones who kind of like just missed out we have been able to help more informally you know again we are constantly creating opportunities to sort of informally help people you know um mm. when when we can't quite throw all the energy into like the main sort of mentoring and advice program mm. so I, I i just wouldn't want anyone ever to think that just because they're not selected there's there's something wrong with them or like they're not you know we don't like them it's 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 an unfortunate arbitrary line because um we only have x amount of time and funding but we really want to sort of have the value for everyone which again is like one of those things is it's like so much i mean how many times today have we mentioned other panels that we've done that can be there to help and it's like you know take all that on as our support as well really yeah yeah definitely definitely yeah, I think that's been really useful. I hope so. Is, is, there, is anyone, I, I, I can, I can never anyone... tell when it says who's joined, like how many people are still on. Yeah, if, I never well, know. I can see that there's a, there's a few people still on. So if there is anyone that's on now and has a question or missed them maybe the beginning of, of what we've been talking about and wants to ask something before we kind of wrap up, then please feel free to do that now. Um, yeah, and I, I think anyone, anyone that's, like you said, those people that, that there, there was kind of a chunk, wasn't there, of people that just missed out last time and, and anyone that reapplied, you know, that has applied in the last um, couple of rounds over the last year or so, just get another application in because, you know, you just don't know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and again, I think, again, you know, the bit that we've said a few times today for, the, for a few people who joined later on is there is, is, is we just apply <laughs> We mm. we think there's just a benefit in applying, and it means we know a bit more about you, and and you know hopefully we can support you. But if not, we're always looking for opportunities for the wider music community, and actually knowing a bit more about like what your needs are, or like what you know it feeds into everything else that we do, basically. Yeah, definitely. And another reminder that the deadline is Monday the 17th so this Monday come in I think we've put a deadline at 11 p.m because we know some people like to uh, leave it a little bit late um but yeah so get your get your applications in and make sure to check out the website with all the information which is www.launchpad-music.com and that's got um information FAQs and the application form for both artists and projects and individual non-music creators um yeah and we're going to look forward to going through them all yeah yeah definitely cool awesome should we leave it there then yeah uh as i say yeah as lynn says everything should be online um i guess if you drop us i say this with some trepidation with the weekend coming up drop us a message if you need to as well yeah yeah we'll try we'll try to help in the next couple of days if you've got any questions or want to message us for sure cool awesome nice speaking to us no worries see you soon bye